In the previous video, we took a look at making the most basic organelle patch. In this video, we're going to see about using some of the organelle hardware, specifically the knobs, to affect the sound. The setup is the same. We boot up and type start x to begin. We're going to do the same thing to create a new patch. Go to the patches folder on the USB drive and copy an existing patch. We'll name it four oscillators. Then on the organelle, choose reload. And this is the pattern we'll do over and over again to create new patches. Copy an existing patch from the patches folder, reload the list, and then open the patch using the organelle itself. It opens up with the main window from our patch, and we, because we copied the previous oscillator patch, this shows up, and we're just going to delete that. And let's take another look at that mother patch. Again, the organelle loads this mother patch alongside any patch that you open on the organelle. And it provides the link between the hardware on the organelle and your patch. And it does this using regular send and receive objects in PD. Looking at this area of the patch, we see some of the messages that are being sent out from the mother patch. When I turn the knobs, we see movement on these sliders. Pressing the keys, we see the notes coming in here. Same for the aux button. And if I had an expression pedal or foot switch attached, we'd see movement there. So these messages can be received by your patch. Looking at our patch window, we can say receive knob 1, and we'll pipe that to a number box. I'm using the shortcut to create objects, control 1, control 3 for a number box. So if you see, see things flying up on the screen, I'm probably just using that shortcut. Now when I turn the knob, we see the value going from 0 to almost 1. The knob doesn't go quite to 1. And we might want to have this control the frequency of an oscillator. We can create an oscillator object, but we're not going to really hear a frequency between 0 and 1 hertz, so we want to probably multiply this by, say, 1,000. I'll connect another number box, and now when we turn the knob, we go from 0 to 1,000. Connect this to the frequency input of the oscillator, and throw the output onto the left bus, and also the right bus. Turn up the volume, and we have one frequency-controlled oscillator. You might notice when I turn it quickly, we hear some steps. And this is because the knob values are not coming in that quickly. There are a couple different ways to filter out those steps, but one thing we like to do is to convert the knob value into an audio rate signal using the SIG object. And then low pass filter that signal at a frequency of 10 hertz. And this has the effect of smoothing out those steps. We can copy and paste this and change this to knob 2. So now knob 2 is controlling a second oscillator. And for knob 2, I'm going to remove that low pass filter so we can hear the difference. Without steps and with steps. 
There might be some situations where those steps are desirable, <clears throat> which is why we left it to the patch developer to filter them out. But you'll probably find yourself doing this over and over again, filtering those knobs. And there's a few different ways you can do it, but we like to use this, convert the knob value into a signal, and then just low pass filter it. Now we can have some fun and duplicate this a few more times to give us four oscillators. We change the knobs to three and four so that each knob is controlling an oscillator. And we can turn up the volume. And we have four oscillators controlled by the knobs. We can save the patch. One last thing I'd like to do before shutting down the graphical display is to reload the patch from the organelle just to make sure everything's initialized. Sometimes in a more complicated patch, you might be loading files and stuff, and you need to do that at the beginning of the patch when it first loads. So we do this one final check, just reloading the patch and making sure we got sound. so that we know it works. Now we can exit the graphical display. We can load the patch. And we have our four oscillators. <laughs>